Hey, what's up, travelers? In this video, we're heading over to try something I've never had before. Uh, it's called a bonseo, or it's a Vietnamese pancake. This is going to be pretty interesting. But before we do that, let's go get some Vietnamese coffee. Are sitting here at Cafe Taosun, which is a very, very, very local co coffee shop here in District One of Saigon. It is uh, really you don't get any more local than this place. It's one of these kind of places that you just kind of go, drink coffee and some tea, and just watch the day go by. Luckily, we we came when there wasn't a whole lot of people here, but this place is usually fairly packed with locals. The lady here. She's, she's pretty awesome. Uh, I used to come here back in 2020 during the COVID times. When I first started coming in, uh, she, she'd look at me like she was surprised to see me. And uh, then I, of course, went back to the States. And then when I came back, when I walked in, she didn't recognize me. And she gave me that, that same look of like, complete shock that there was a foreigner in her store. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was really kind of funny. But... Yeah, she's working on that Cafe Suada for us right now. And I can't wait because Vietnamese milk coffee, one of the best things that you'll ever try here in Vietnam. So here is the layout of what we got. It's going to cost 35,000 dong for, for the coffee there. And uh, the tea is just to throw in, and that's kind of an extra bonus here. But let's get to drinking this, huh? Yeah, this is God juice. <laughs> Man, that just never gets old. Have you ever like, gotten some chocolate milk right out of the carton, like like fresh the day it got to the, the grocery store? That's what this tastes like, with just a slight hint of coffee flavor in the background. But in all reality, it's the coffee and the sweetened condensed milk that drive that flavor. And it is just mm, delicious. This is one of the things that I miss the most about living in Vietnam. Just getting up, going out. You can get it just on the side of the street pretty much anywhere, really. Sit down and enjoy a nice cup of coffee. Uh. There's, there's, not, there's nothing like Vietnamese coffee. Nothing in the world. The culture here on Vietnamese coffee is... Yeah, honestly, it's what I started my YouTube channel out so, so many years ago. Mm. Yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. Let's give this, this tea a go here. That's another thing here in Vietnam. Highly underrated is their iced tea. Or cha da, as they call it here. That is, that's good stuff. I used to be able to drink this all day, but unfortunately, the coffee it kind of caught up to me. <laughs> uh, so I can hear usual get one, maybe two cups in a day before I start having some issues. But this tea right here, I could definitely drink this all day. That's so good. We've had our coffee. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. After we leave here, we're going to go with that uh, Bonseo Vietnamese pancake.
So there's the place that we were headed. That's really unfortunate. Sadly, that's a reality of, of Vietnam. And, you know, quite frequently, the internet says something is there when it has actually gone out of business. So that's really unfortunate. So I guess we're going to have to figure out something else to, to go eat and film. <laughs> well, we'll figure that out when we get there. <laughs> Shining 24 7 Cause when we're together It feels like we're in heaven If it will get dark You'll be my million stars I know I can lean on you Alright, so I am at Bonseo 46A Which is uh, Over in Bing Kong Trang District uh, Yeah, it's kind of a, a Bit of a drive to get here It is it's pretty cool This place is open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and then again 4 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, but yeah, this is a fairly fairly famous place for this Vietnamese crepe pancake, you know, whatever you want. Uh, they are working on making it for me right now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this because I've never actually had a bonsai before. Uh, unfortunately, my audio might be a little bit jacked up because uh, my microphone needed to get charged and I didn't realize it and uh, ended up coming without my microphone because it was on the charger <laughs> when I did realize it. So, um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully the audio isn't going to be too bad, but we'll do what we can anyway. Uh, but let's. Let's enjoy this food when it gets here, huh? This thing, this thing is absolutely awesome. We got a huge plate of vegetables and some uh, mom and fish sauce. With, uh, it looks like some, some carrots and some uh, and probably some green papaya. And then here it is. So we got some sort of some sort of lettuce here. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's probably a romaine or something like that. And then we got lots of uh, lots of mint leaves here. You can never go wrong with that. And who all, who knows what all else is on that plate? This bonsaio here. It's got it's got eggs. It's got prawns. It's got pork. It's got bean sprouts it's got about just about everything in it and i think the the batter is it's like a rice batter with some onion uh, chives and stuff like that mixed into it it's looking pretty awesome so let's grab a leaf here and got a big thing of, the, of it here these things aren't easy to eat i can tell you that right now <laughs> wrap it up in the lettuce here yeah. Go ahead and dip it in the in the fish sauce. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely fantastic. It's got a nice crunchiness to it and on the outside and then on the inside it's nice and nice and soft and kind of doughy still. And those prongs just shine bright. I've been trying to find a place like this closer to District 1, but all the places in District 1 seem to have shut down. Load up another one here. A few different kinds of leaves in here. Okay. That's a nice, nice shrimp there. Yeah, when you add when you add that mint leaf into it, it just brightens it up that much more. It's fantastic. And I still haven't even gotten any of the pork yet. <laughs> Got this big old leaf here. Pancakes here ain't like nothing you've ever had back at home, I can tell you that for sure. And it's definitely a lot of food. You know, it looks like most people come here, they order one for two people. One thing I do not seem to have is something to wipe my hands with. <laughs> Check out all this lettuce. <laughs> easier to use the chopsticks finally. <laughs> oh boy. So this dish it's uh, it's very delicious. Very hard to eat. <laughs> Should you come and get one when you're here in town? I think so. Um, at least try it once. I don't know if I would uh, go out of my way to get it again, but if I stumble across it, I probably would grab it, but I would definitely want some napkins. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, yeah, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you're into it, you know, all that kind of stuff. I really appreciate it. It definitely goes a long way, but as always, eat great food.